Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's already been 10 days since the end of support of Windows 10, which Microsoft ended last week, Tuesday on the 14th, as we have been discussing on the channel. And in regards to this, Microsoft now has posted another community blog post. Are you leaving the door open for hackers? The hidden dangers of unsupported systems. And I thought this was interesting. Now, this is mainly focused at enterprise environments and IT administrators, but I think this can also be of interest to your average home user. Now, Microsoft says from this blog post that with the Windows 10 end of support, many organizations face a growing question. How many of their devices, servers or endpoints are unsupported? And more importantly, Microsoft says, what hidden vulnerabilities does that create for compliance auditability and access governance because Microsoft says from the post that the problem is with just one more year thinking which it says a lot of RT admins and RT leaders are tempted to think just one more year to keep running older systems a little longer patch what you can and squeeze maximum value out of existing infrastructure due to the running costs, obviously, of upgrading to newer hardware, which would be first prize for Microsoft. Now, Microsoft says from this uh, blog post and the just one more year of thinking, it says, and I'm quoting, research supports the scale of the issue. Microsoft's latest digital defense report, note this is a Microsoft report and not a third-party report, so there might be a little bit of bias here, but nonetheless, Microsoft says the latest digital defense report reveals that over 90% of ransomware attacks that reach the encryption stage begin with unmanaged devices lacking proper security controls. Unsupported systems, it says, often fall into this category, making them prime targets for exploitation. And because these vulnerabilities live at the infrastructure level, not in individual files, they're often invisible until an incident occurs. So that's Microsoft's take on the one more year of thinking. Now, Microsoft mentions from this section the rising cost of delay, which I thought was interesting. It says, hackers don't need to break your strongest lock. They just need to wait until you leave a window open. No pun intended. With Windows 10 end of support, attackers already know many businesses will lag behind. Every month of delay hands them a predictable advantage, a patchwork of unprotected systems running business-critical workloads. The cost of waiting is steep. Breaches tied to unsupported infrastructure often carry higher remediation costs, longer downtime and greater reputational damage than attacks on supported platforms. And because compliance frameworks evolve faster than legacy systems, staying put also means falling behind on requirements that affect contracts customer trust, and even your ability to do business. So that's Microsoft's take on it. Now, the interesting thing about Microsoft's take on it is nowhere in this post does Microsoft mention the Extended Security Updates Program, be that for consumers for one year or the three-year plan. Doesn't mention anything like that in this article regarding are you leaving the door open for hackers? But what Microsoft does do, if we head to this section, ready to close the gaps before attackers exploit them, what Microsoft does is it pushes new hardware, Windows 11 Pro devices powered by Intel V Pro. So Microsoft wants you to go out and buy a new hardware, a new PC, or a Copilot Plus PC, as we can see from this report. So a bit of vagueness from Microsoft. I think as I would say on the channel, a little bit cheeky, not mentioning the extended security updates program, especially regarding businesses and enterprises, because they get an extra three years, which will cover all the so-called blind spots that Microsoft is talking about in this article. But nonetheless, I just thought this was interesting. We're 10 days out from the Windows 10 end of support, and already Microsoft is raising flags regarding leaving the door open for hackers. So do you agree with all this? Do you think Microsoft has been fully transparent or is using a bit of scare tactics? Let me know your thoughts down below. Always interested to hear. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.